close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Try to be very quiet with the breath. The less commentary you have on the world outside, the better. Because the more the mind can be quiet, the more it can see. Otherwise it's sending out rays of greed and anger. And that's what we see. The, the greed and anger bounced back at us. We got greed and all of a sudden it picks out the things that you think are worth being greedy about. If you're feeling angry, it picks out the things you're going to feel angry about. And everything else gets blotted out. It's like going down the road at night. If you go down the road during the day, you've got the sunlight so you can see everything all around you. When you go down at night, all you've got is your headlights. And the headlights just pick out things in a certain direction, in a certain very restricted area. And so it may emphasize things you wouldn't have noticed otherwise, but you often miss the larger picture. And it's the same with our minds as we're sending out greed, aversion, and delusion. It's like we're sending out rays and they get bounced back at us. So be very careful about what you're sending out. If you send out quiet rays, okay, then you're more likely to see what the things outside are actually sending in your direction. And when you can see things more clearly, then you're apt to act in a more appropriate way as well. So when you're thinking thoughts, don't think you're the only ones being affected by it. It affects the world around you, and then as you change the world around you through your thinking, then the things you do are going to be less skillful or more skillful depending on what you're sending out. So be careful what you send out. And one of the best ways of training the mind to be quiet is to give it something good to stay with here in the present moment. So it, have a sense, so it can have a sense of well-being right here. This is why when we're focusing on the breath, you want to focus on a breath that feels good. And the breath is good in that you can change it. Shorter breathing, longer breathing, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. You're free to choose whatever breath you want, whatever you like right now. So mind can settle down with a sense of well-being. When it's well-fed like this, then it's quiet. It's like an animal that you raise at home. If you don't feed it, it's going to be running all over the place, scratching everything out of hunger. But if it's well fed, it will lie quietly. So feed the mind well so it can be quiet. And then it can see, like seeing in the middle of the daylight. What's out there, the, all the rays of the sun bouncing off of everything come to you, and you see everything for what it is and what its, what its position is in relationship to other things. And then your actions can be a lot more skillful. And you create less trouble in the world. And the less trouble you create in the world, the less trouble you create for yourself.